Okay, this is the P1 June 2022 paper. It's question four. Uh, as we can see by looking at it here, it's a graphs and transformations question. We're going to be translating graphs and uh, we're going to be using y equals f minus x in a moment, but let's just have a look at it. So it says figure one shows a sketch of the curve. Okay, we've got that there. Um, has a minimum point at minus one naught. So this value here is minus one naught and a maximum value over there. So this is three over two and two for the value of Q. Uh, line Y equals one is an asymptote. And it says on separate diagrams, can we sketch these two uh, other curves? So we've got Y equals FX minus two. And then we've got Y equals F of minus X. Now, for both of those two, it's telling us, and it does this quite often with the sketching ones, what it actually wants. It doesn't always want points of intersection with axes. It might want key points like maximums and minimums or asymptotes. So always just make sure you read this bit at the bottom here. Uh, in this case, we want the maximums and minimums, and we want the asymptote because of the style of this question. Right, if you forgive me, what I've already done then for this one is to just prepare myself by copying out that diagram as well, because what we're now going to do is we're going to try and translate this one. So this is just the original question, and then our graph, our translation is going to be y equals fx minus 2. So I hope everybody is aware of the fact that fx minus 2, what's going to happen to this is that every value, so in other words the graph, it's going to move down two on the y-axis. So what I could do is I can pick up my graph and just move it down two units. Now, where do I put it? Well, how far am I actually going to do this so that it ends up in the right place? Well, this is something that they do quite often. Remember from the original thing that this is three over two, two here, this point. So if I move that down by two units, then as long as I have that sitting, and it does need to sit on the axis here, and obviously you'd redraw the graph out, but when I'm redrawing the graph, the key point then is gonna be this one here. That's got to sit on that axis there. As to where other key points are, normally on this graph, you might think that moving this one down actually made a difference but on this one originally we don't know where that value is going to be okay we don't know where that value is going to be so it doesn't make any difference moving that one down so the key to this question is going to be as I move this down that that's sitting there and then let's check and see what they asked for in the original question they said what are the new coordinates of the maximum and minimum? And what's the equation of the asymptote? Right, so the maximum here is now at the point three over two naught. And that would, even if you'd missed what was happening there, you should then at that point say, oh, right, cracker, that needs to be on the axis here. What's gonna happen to the asymptote? This asymptote needs to move down by um, two units as well. So where it was, I'm not gonna do this too neatly at the moment, just for the uh, sake of the speed of the diagram. That's now gonna be y equals minus one in there. And then we also need to think about what this new point here was. Well, originally it was at minus one, zero. So it's gonna now be at minus one, minus two. Now in terms of my actual answer then, I wouldn't have any of this on there. This was just for getting ourselves ready, so I wouldn't have any of that bit up there. That's gone now. I don't particularly need those bits on there. So my actual answer that I'd leave for the examiner, tied it up a little bit more, would probably be just that. Have I done what they've asked for? They said, have you got those two points and have I got the asymptote in there? And yes, I have. So that's my actual answer. Answer. Everything else was just leading up to that point. 
And in fact, actually, I mean, you have all my work in terms of purple. So let's have it like that. That's my answer there for part A, part one, part A. Okay, what happens with the second one then? It's actually part one, not part A. So what happens with the second one is that they've then said F of minus X. So for F of minus X, gone back, I've just drawn the original um, graph on there. What does F of minus X do then? Y equals F of minus X. And just like last time, I'm gonna get rid of this, all the stuff that's in black at the moment uh, once I've worked out what I'm doing. F of minus X is a reflection in the Y axis. Okay, so what it means is that everything at the moment that's this side of the Y axis is going to need to come over and be this side of the Y axis. So we'll do that right now. So I'm gonna have this point coming down here, coming down to my minimum and then going up there and then becoming that asymptote here. And it's this that I'm trying to have as a reflection there. That's what I've done for that point. And then also obviously what's gonna to happen to all the values that were originally positive, they're now gonna be on the other side and be negative. So again, just trying to make it relatively neat. So the idea is that those two are the same height and are the same distance away from the axis. These are the same distance away from the axis. Well, I don't need to rely on my drawing skills because as with the last one, what they're now gonna ask me for is what these new values are. So uh, the value for P was minus one naught before. So that's gonna be one naught. The value for the maximum is now minus three over two, two. And the equation of the asymptote is gonna stay at y equals one. So now looking at that, that's gonna be enough information to give me my answer for both parts there. So I've got answer for part one and answer for part two. And everything I did previously was just sort of to show you what we were doing before, but actually now, yep, there's my answer with the three things they wanted, the two maximums and minimums and the um, asymptote, and then the same here with those ones. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.